Hi, friends, and welcome to another edition of New Start Now. I'm your host, Ron Giannone. In our studio with me is Helen Gray, all the way from Tennessee. What's unusual about Helen is her daughter works here at the New Start program and works with me, and we've had the pleasure of her presence. So let's take a look at when she first arrived. And I've got diabetes and have had close to 20 years, and I just, my first thought was I want to get my blood sugar down to normal. And then that would be getting off the medication and to get my weight back down, get under 200, which I haven't been for many years, under 200 pounds. And, um, and make my feet, my feet look a little better, I'm sure, when that happens. And have the Lord, I'd like the Lord to help me know what to do with my future now that I'm a widow and, and my future is uncertain. Welcome back, friends, and in our studio, Helen, how are you? Hi, just fine. It's good to see you, although I see a lot of you anyway, because your daughter and I work together. Right, yeah. Yeah, Beth, and she does an incredible job. Everybody seems to like her. Oh, yeah, she's very well-liked and very well-loved. Mm -hmm. Tell me, Helen, um, you know, we, we, we know that you've been here before. Many years ago, in fact, you were one of my first interviews. Right, yeah. Yeah. But how are, th are things any different than they were then? Well, there's been a lot of changes in my life since then. My husband died after that. And so I sort of gained a 15 of those 35 pounds back. Mm -hmm. And so, and my blood sugar went way up again. So that's why I'm here is because I wanted to get back on track again. And how's your blood sugar now? Well, it dropped quite a bit from three weeks ago when they took the, te took the test and then from to now. Uh, down to 150, and it was over, like 220 before. Uh, you were on medication? Yes, yeah, so and now I'm off the medication. And you're off medication, and it's even gotten better. Right, yeah. And how about your weight? You said you want to lose I, weight. Yeah, I, when I started here, in the, when they first did the check, uh, it was 209, and I was hoping to get under 200. But I only made it to 201. Yeah, well, that's good. But, but that's it's, a start. It's a start. It's, that was my goal is to get under 200. But I yeah. knew it might not be happening right now, but it will happen. Well, you're going to be staying uh, on campus right, with I'm Beth gonna, for Right, a while. I'm going to stay with Beth for a while. Good. And yeah. we'll be monitoring you. Right. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> How's the walking? Are you able to walk? Yeah, I have. Yeah, I got some new shoes just before it started, and I got that all taken care of. You know, Beth of and I talked about those shoes. Right. When I first saw you walking in sandals, I said to Beth, she can't be walking in sandals. Oh, yeah, well, yeah. So, yeah, I've got the new shoes now. Did you? And, yeah, and, we're, and I've been walking every day between five and eight miles a You're day. Five and eight miles a day? Right, yeah. Well, you're the new hero. Uh, but I'm not walking as fast as I should because, you know, different times, like when you were fasting, you didn't have much strength or energy and, you know, stuff like that. Speed but, has nothing yeah, to do with but it. But I've been out there. Yeah, that's yeah. awesome. Different walk. I have a, my next door neighbor in the lodge is, uh, we're walking pals, so we walk <laughs> together in the morning. And then other people walk with me during different times of the day. So you've made new friends here. Yes. Uh -huh. yeah, isn't yeah. it amazing it's how we been, attract? It's been a lot of fun visiting yeah. with everybody and seeing how they're all doing and how they react to things. And, you know, it's been really nice. Let me, let me make a mention of something. You know, oftentimes, we had a lady here once who lost four dress sizes, did not lose a pound. Oh, yeah. We had another lady here that, uh, well, we had several thousands right. of ladies right. here. But, um, you know, the muscle starts to accumulate as the fat is peeled off. And you don't lose, you're, you're losing fat, but you're gaining muscle. Right. You're aware of that. Right. I can tell, by the way, that clothes have changed and the comments from people. But today, the spa lady, told me that I had lost four inches around the waist. Wow, yeah, good job. So, and I can tell, I tell people that before, it sort of started giving me, trying to give me a waist, and, but it was hanging over. But now it's still there, it's not hanging over anymore. <laughs> so I'm pleased with that. 
That's pretty descriptive. Right. <laughs> Thanks. We don't have any more hangover. Right. So it's improved. I can tell. I can just tell by the way the body feels and and uh, yeah. that it's changing. Yeah. yeah. I I really have to commend you for walking that much. Yeah. When I came here, I couldn't even walk a half mile. Yeah. Well. And I was able to walk five, six, eight miles yeah, a day. Yeah. Well, my daughters in Tennessee were after me to walk, oh, and yeah. I went to the aquarobics while I was back there. And your daughter here is making it. And my daughter here, we would get up. Well, I walk her to work in the morning, and then after she goes to work, then I keep walking around. Isn't that awesome? Before I started this, yeah. Now, what, what, what's your favorite part of the program here? Oh, boy. I like them all. Um, I like the interaction with the other people. I like the doctor. He's really, really good. and. Fun and Dr. K. Dr. K. And now, then, but your you have a favorite part of this program? Well, actually, the is it the fresh eating? start? <laughs> oh yeah, just about fresh start. Is it the chaplain in the morning? He's fantastic. Oh, he's a wonderful. Yeah, it really it really connects everything and the reason you know, because that isn't the only reason. When the physical part, when I said I came, it also was for the spiritual part. Yes. And yes. Uh, and he really helps that. That's oh. really good. Of course, I love the eating. Yes, <laughs> I do too. And the cook, I, and the cooking I classes. Missed too many meals in my life. No, me too. That's no. probably why I weighed two hundred and ninety pounds. Right. Yeah. At well, some point. Yeah. Well, at one point I weighed two sixty. Really? That probably about twenty years ago. Wow, you're doing good. And then I went down to two forty, and I stayed there for a long time. And then when I was here four years ago, it was I got down to the. I lost down to just about 200. I was just about 200, and then the program was over, and I went home. My husband died, and so my, I started going back up. So yeah. now I want it to go back down. Because yeah. if I'm going to live a while, I want to have a healthy life and a happy life. I don't want to be miserable. Now, um, are you satisfied with your results? Yeah, I would like, you know, you always wish it would have been a little bit better. You know, I'd like to see the blood sugar down. I'd like to see the weight down, but That'll come I figure down. it'll get better. They'll yeah. come down together. Yeah. And, of course, your blood sugar, you were at 300 right. on medication. Right. Yeah. Now you're 150 without it. Right, yeah. It's going in the right direction. Right. You yeah. know that. Yeah, right, it is. So yeah. being with your daughter, though, she tells me you like to eat off campus now. Oh, yeah. That was my problem in Tennessee. I would go out four or five times a week. No, you can't. <laughs> so, so we she keeps me at home. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. But you we know, come to the cafeteria. We eat really good breakfast at her house, and then it comes. As to long as you know what foods you should be eating and what foods add on the poundage, you'll yeah, be fine. Yeah. And being with Beth, you're gonna yeah, be okay. She's very good. Yeah. She made a determination, I think, when she was a teenager that she wasn't going to get over light weight like her mom and her grandma. Uh, so she made that determination very early. She had mentioned that to me, by the way. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. So um, overall, any comments about uh, the entire program that you can share with our guests that are watching? Well, I recommend it for anybody that has those health problems and uh, that, uh, in fact, I wish my aunt could take advantage, but she's too far. Her problems are too far gone, so she can't. She's in the hospital now. Oh, but wow. um, yeah, I'd recommend it to anybody that would listen. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, Helen, yeah. I really want to thank you for taking your time. Yeah. I know you're on a busy schedule. Uh, well, thank you for taking the time for me. And God bless you. And thank you. Yeah, and you were one of the ones that was instrumental in me coming. I appreciate that. Yeah, you're yeah. more than welcome. <laughs> yeah, thank you. We'll be in touch. All right. Yeah, I plan on it. Uh, yeah. Friends, don't go away because Dr. K will be right with us. When we look at the health status of Americans today, it's alarming to see that 60% are either overweight or obese. In addition, diseases such as type 2 diabetes, cancer, and heart disorders are the leading cause of so many complications and deaths every year. Could it have something to do with what we eat? After all, every one in four Americans visits a fast food restaurant daily, and with such easy access to quick fix foods, 
we tend to forget the poor health value those foods actually offer. Maybe it's the sedentary lifestyle and lack of exercise that we've become so accustomed to as a media-dependent world. Whatever the cause of these diseases, a solution has arrived. The New Start Lifestyle Center offers an enriching program where patients can get a healing of mind, body, and soul. Located in the outskirts of Sacramento, the New Start Center is situated on the beautiful campus of Weimar Center of Health and Education, with scenic walking and hiking trails all around. With a whole plant foods eaten whole motto, the New Start Center promotes a healthy plant-based diet with an emphasis on natural foods. The New Start staff are made up of California board certified nurses, doctors, dietitians, and therapists who work together to assist each patient personally. The staff are dedicated to each patient's success in the program and are always there to guide, advise, and encourage. In addition to a healthy lifestyle, New Start also promotes a healthy exercise routine. You're both in sequence, that's good. All right. As part of the balanced program, there is much opportunity to get in the fair share of physical activity from utilizing our fitness center to taking a stroll around the peaceful grounds of Weimar. It's amazing what a new start can do for you. Welcome back, friends, in our studio, Dr. Kuni Novu. Yes, welcome. It's I, right, it's the first time I've been here. I know. I'm going to tell our guests that, that you're brand new. Mm -hmm. not, not that you're brand new, but to New Start. Yes. You're our, you've joined the staff recently, about a month or so Praise ago. Praise God, yes. And now you're seeing our guests, and mm -hmm. they, they refer to you as Dr. K because they can't pronounce your yeah, last name. Yeah, Kuni Novu's a mouthful. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I thought Giannoni was, but that, I think that you, you got me there. <laughs> Nonetheless, it's it's a pleasure to have you here, oh, Doctor. Thank you. you you've Pleasure's come. Mine. Well, you know, we've heard a lot about you, and I hope most of it is true. I hope most of it's good. <laughs> it was all good. <laughs> okay. Now I'm just kind of rising a little bit, but let's let's talk about Helen. Yes. And as you know, Helen's daughter works here. Mm -hmm. She's. She works with me in guest services, mm -hmm. and um, her name is Beth, by the way. I, I think you already knew that. Mm -hmm. But uh, we've been wanting Helen to come back through the program because she attended the program many, many years ago. Mm -hmm. I guess 10 years ago, when nine, but she put on all this weight. Mm -hmm. Talk to us about that. Sure. You know, that's so common. You raise a family, You things are going on in life, and... A lot of things happen as we raise kids, as you are well aware. Some of them good, some of them not so good. And uh, like a lot of people, it's just a few pounds every year, and before you know it, you realize that you're in a really unhealthy weight. And uh, that's the situation that Helen found herself in. Yeah. Yeah. And she already had a disease that doesn't do well with weight. And that is? Diabetes. The diabetes, mm -hmm. of course. Yeah. You know, you made it sound so simple. Let me just tell you what you just said. Sure. You put on a couple of pounds a year. Mm -hmm. In 30 years, how many pounds is that? Yeah, you're 60 pounds heavier. <laughs> That's a lot of weight. It is a lot of weight. It happens to all of us. I know. You know, and uh, you know, you would think even shouldn't happen to a doctor, especially one who has a background in prevention and in family medicine, like myself. But I put on weight. Uh, just the stress of going to work every day and the business. I know of a good program you can attend. Oh, well, by the way, all kidding aside, when Dr. Gallant got here, he was a little heavier, mm -hmm. but he's leaned right out. Yes, he has. And I'm going to see the same well, with I'm, you. I'm working to beat him. Are you? <laughs> oh, yes, absolutely. I'm already down 27, 28 pounds from my high. Wow. And I think he had to lose 30, so I'm going to, I'm going to beat him on the amount of weight oh, he lose. God. <laughs> so what about Helen's diabetes? Is she doing okay with that? You know, it's interesting because... Um, at the beginning of the program, you would say, no, she was not doing well at all. Because she had the high 300 She was range. running out in the 300 range. Um, she actually had been already working on it because she, as you said, had been here before. She knew about the principles of New Start. She was eating at the cafeteria. She was eating the right food. She was exercising, walking around the hills here at Weimar. And you would think, well, what would the program have to offer somebody who already knows it and is already here. You know, it's interesting uh, that it can be just little things that make the difference. 
And I think the structure of the program really was something that really benefited Helen and also the camaraderie of the other patients. Oh, absolutely. You know, we're mind, body, spirit. You know, the, the mind is such an incredible influence on, on the body. And that, that group dynamic, I think, was very helpful for Helen. Oh, boy. And she was able to increase her mileage, and she just continued pushing through, even when she was having difficulty. And I think she may have mentioned to you at the beginning, the first week or two, she was wondering, is anything happening? My oh. blood sugars are still running high. What, uh. what was, she would come in and talk about that. And I said, Helen, you have to be patient. You know, and you would use these phrases, Rome wasn't built in a day or yeah. whatever. You know, it took 20 years to get where you are, Helen. Let's give it some time. Let's right. see how things go. She persevered through it. And at first, she would look at the numbers of her weight and be very concerned because maybe she wouldn't lose as much as she wanted to. And I would have to point out and say, well, Helen, remember that as you're exercising more, you're actually putting on some muscle. And remember that muscle weighs more than fat. Yes. So then I'd ask the question, by any chance have your, has your waist gone down or the clothes a little looser? <laughs> and then we would joke about it because she'd oh, she said, actually, yeah, I was afraid I was going to lose them today when I was walking, <laughs> which was a good thing. Even though yes. the scale didn't change as much as she wanted it to, yes. her body composition was improving. That, d that scale can be deceiving. It can be deceiving. You yes. know, we had a, uh, Dr. Lukens talked about this once in a while. We had a guest come here about four years ago, five years ago. She lost four dress sizes, mm. but did not lose a pound. Oh, I've heard that story. And incredible. Yeah, it is incredible. Mm -hmm. And so, the, you know, if you're out there losing weight or you, you're losing sizes, but your weight isn't going down, your body composition is changing. That's, that's for a, sure. It's a good thing. Hang in there. because Hang gonna in happen. there. It's going to happen. And it happened for Helen. And this morning, what was her blood glucose? Her blood sugar was 129 this morning. Isn't that amazing? Just beautiful. She was so happy. Oh, yeah. So happy. She's a believer. Absolutely. Otherwise, what would have happened to this poor lady? You know, if she had continued on the road that she was on with blood sugars, and I think it was despite medication, too, that she was running these high numbers, um, just incredible increased risk for heart attack mm. and for stroke. Uh, those are the two biggies, but of course, things that we talk about on this program all the time. Yes. You know, cancer, kidney failure. Yes. Neurologic problems, amputations, et cetera, which I saw in my practice, unfortunately, very regularly in Southern California before I came here. Now, you did practice in Southern California outside of Loma Linda? And uh, actually, in the San Diego area, North San Diego oh, County you did. area. Mm -hmm. For 20 years. 20 years. Mm -hmm. Family practice. Family practice. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. We're sure glad you're here. Oh, but I, agree. I am so happy to be here, too. Yeah. Yeah, it's wonderful to see how God works. Yeah, just amazing, the miracles that we see here. Absolutely. And we're seeing a miracle. You know, I use that term kind of lightly, but truly, um, we see them every single session. Mm -hmm. All these people... We see they come in like this, mm -hmm. and they leave like this, mm -hmm. and they're happy, and mm -hmm. I'm so happy to be a part of that. No, praise God, so am I. Uh, doctor, um, can you say any more about uh, the weight loss and diabetes as sure. it relates to our guests who are watching? Yeah, you know, if there are guests that are watching that are struggling with their weight, first thing is that the world is going to tell you, well, why don't you go on the paleo diet? You know, start <laughs> eating that, uh, you know, just a lot of protein and forget those carbohydrates. Yes. And, uh, you know, there's, you, some people will eat too, they will lose weight that way. Yes. But the question is, what are they doing with the other parameters when you forget about the other parts, your cholesterol, what's the long term going to be? So, you know, here at New Start, through the years, you've seen it. We've, I've seen it just a short time I've been here, that when you do a balanced, whole food, plant-based diet and exercise and drink water, just those big three right there, you're going to lose weight. And one of the other things that we do here is, is we actually have um, the two meals a day also. Yes. That uh, you spread it out and let your body digest that food properly and give the gut a rest from time to time. Yeah. That makes a difference too. Thanks for sharing that. Yeah. And thank you, Doctor, for coming My on pleasure. the program. My pleasure. We're running out of time here, but I want to thank you again. And we'll, 
we'll be seeing you on campus. Absolutely. And thank you, friends, for joining us. But don't go away. We have a tip for you. Kids love juice. We love juice. It seems like a healthy alternative to soda. But is it really that much healthier? Much information is coming from medical experts and the juice industry as well. But they're in conflict. The labels on juice say 100% juice, or it may say all natural, or a good source of vitamins. But the one that really gets our attention is no sugar added. The common belief is that fruit juices are a healthy choice. But there is compelling evidence that drinking juice may have serious negative effects. The Juice Products Association, a group that lobbies for the industry, has a website, www.fruitjuicefacts.org, and it is designed to give the facts about fruit juice. On the site, they share information on the benefits of drinking juice, claiming that 100% juice can aid in overall better nutrition by increasing the intake of fruit servings, vitamins, and minerals. Sounds good, right? A lot of parents get confused about whether juices or soft drinks, you know, what do I do? Do I substitute juice, fruit juice, real fruit juice for soft drinks? That must be better for my child. In reality, what you're doing is taking a comparably calorically dense beverage. And yes, orange juice has some vitamin C in it. And if your kids could stand tomato juice, that would be great to have uh, instead. But Really what the issue is, is they're very calorically dense along with soft drinks and other sugar-sweetened beverages. So parents need to be aware of the calories and the quantity of calories that your child may be consuming from sweetened beverages, whether they're natural sugars or from something like soft drink or sweetened fruit drinks. Just because the label says no sugar added doesn't mean juice doesn't contain sugar. Most natural fruit juices have just as much sugar as soda. When compared with the same volume of Coke, apple juice, even 100% apple juice with no sugar added, has more calories and about the same amount of sugar, a whopping 10 teaspoons. A 20 ounce Gatorade contains 34 grams of sugar or 11 teaspoons. A 12 ounce glass of orange juice contains 180 calories and eight teaspoons of sugar, which is the same as eating three chocolate chip cookies or a half a cup of ice cream. But isn't there a difference between natural sugars and refined sugars? In other words, could the natural sugars found in fruit juice be somehow less harmful than the sugars found in soft drinks? When a person, be it a child or an adult, drinks soft drink, which is sweetened with either sucrose or high fructose corn syrup, or they drink a fruit juice, which the sugar is essentially the same. The body doesn't know where it came from, and it's going to metabolize it literally the same way, identically. Drinks all together, soft drinks, sweetened fruit drinks, and fruit juices are all actually, the USDA throws them all in a mix. Among those in the medical field, the general consensus is that there is a link between drinking sugar-sweetened beverages, including fruit juices, and obesity. The reason is when a person consumes the fruit juice rather than consuming the whole fruit, they discard the fiber that would limit their quantity of the fruit that they're taking in and get a high concentration of sugar, thus calories. The body has to compensate for that rise in blood sugar by secreting more insulin and thus the storage of fat is increased. If they're over consuming calories, the possibility is there and it does happen that that sugar in the fruit juice, the real fruit juice, or the sugar in the soft drink can be converted into body fat and can contribute both of them, both beverages, to obesity in children. So what were humans meant to drink? The answer is simple, water. Water is refreshing, cleansing, and healing. It acts like a mop that cleans our bodies of waste and carries nutrients to the different organs. It cools the body and helps digest our food. Do you know that drinking plenty of water makes you look younger by keeping your skin healthy? Drinking water can even help you lose weight 
because drinking lots of water naturally suppresses the appetite. Plus, it has zero calories and zero grams of sugar. To improve our health and the health of our kids, we need to think outside the juice box. First, let's reduce or eliminate even our fruit juice intake. Second, we need to drink lots of water. Put a fresh slice of lemon or lime or orange in the water to flavor it. It's really good. And also, let's eat lots of fresh fruit instead of drinking fruit juices. We can take that fruit, cut it up for the kids ahead of time, and put it in snack packs for them so that it's easy to grab. Reducing or eliminating fruit juice from our diet may be hard to do at first, but think of the benefits. Reducing juice from our diet will result in less calories, a lower risk of diabetes, and overall, better health. Well, friends, that's it for today, but join us next week for another episode. In the meantime, pick up the phone and give us a call at 800-525-9192. Mention the New Start Now program and receive the New Start Special.